Hey guys, it's Amber from the WOW Creative Team. I am back with more inspiration for the WOW Christmas Bobble stamp set. This time with more traditional colors, last time was more modern colors and a color change effect. So I have a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock here and I'm just treating it with an anti-static powder tool. If you handle your cardstock only from the sides of the paper, then you could probably eliminate that step. Here I have the Christmas Bobble stamp set from WOW and this was designed by Karen from our creative team. It has some beautiful bobbles in it and then also some great sentiments. And I decided I wanted to do a little Copic coloring so that there's some color variation on this bobble. Rather than heat emboss it and use my Copics with the embossing powder, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it in Sunray ink, which is kind of like a warm, light yellow color. The reason I picked that color is because ultimately I'm going to heat emboss this in gold pearl, and this color ink, this dye ink, is very similar to gold pearl. So here I have a BG13 Copic sketch marker, and a BG10, and I'm just gonna roughly fill this in so that it has some shading and so that it adds a little more dimension and shape to the Christmas bobble. I'm not going to color all of the individual elements of this ornament. I will do the berries and the holly leaves, and other than that, I'll just fill in the background like you see here. There, I grabbed the wrong marker, so I'm just gonna blend that back out with the BG10. So now I have the R24 and I'm just gonna fill in these berries with the darkest color. And again, this is really just rough, very simple coloring. Because I'm going to heat emboss over it, that's going to add some detail to it. I'm just gonna blend that out with the R22. For the leaves, I'm only going to use one color and I'm using YG17. And just coloring directly over that teal seems to be working just fine. And so now I'm going to make sure that my ink is dry. Now Copic ink, because it's an alcohol ink, the alcohol evaporates quickly and it dries quickly, but I wanted to make sure that my embossing powder wasn't going to stick to all of the coloring that I did. So I stamped that twice with the WOW embossing ink pad and I'll sprinkle on the gold pearl embossing powder and then we'll go ahead and heat set this. If I have any stray powder, I'll go ahead and knock that off with a dry paintbrush. And I always start my heat embossing from the back just to get things heated, and then I'll come around to the front. And you can see that that melts beautifully. I think it looks so pretty with those colors. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now what I wanna do is add a little bit of a background. I thought it would be fun to have some pine needles in the background, like it was a close-up of an ornament hanging in a tree. So I have the Altenu Classic Pine Stencil, and this is the A stencil. This is actually a layering stencil where you get pine needles and pine cones. I only wanna use the pine needles. I feel like if I also use the pine cones that it would be way too busy and it would take away from that ornament, which is really what I want the focal point to be. So here I have Altenew Olive, no, this is Moss Ink from Altenew. I have one of their blending brushes and I've kind of just masked off a bit of the area that is that would have gone right over the ornament. And I'm not gonna mask any other areas, you guys. So basically I'm just kind of lining the stencil up to where the ornament is and putting some pine needles around it. Now there you can see that empty spot right there is where one of the pine cones would have been. So I'm just gonna ink blend right over this. I'm not even thinking about the edge of the stencil, so look, I end up with a line. You guys, this was actually the second time I did this project, and so I wasn't gonna start over again, but I'll make that work in the end. So here I'm kind of just picking different areas of the stencil I'm just moving it around. Now, one of the other things that you could do, you could do that would be really simple is just stamp this image a second time on a post-it note or masking tape. You could mask off this ornament really easily. I really, I am so mask avoidant though, you guys. I, I just don't mask. I try not to. Um, 
So it was easy enough to just do this. And basically what I want to do here is I want to have about a two inch area because I'm going to cut this into a strip. I didn't want the full card to have pine needles on it. So I'm going to trim this down because I obviously want to have an area for my sentiment. So I'll just go ahead and fill this in kind of overlapping everything. And then I'll go ahead and trim that down. So here I have one of the sentiments from the set and I've stamped this in the wow embossing ink. I have primary burgundy red embossing powder here. I'll sprinkle that on and go ahead and heat set this. All of the primary powders, um, there's quite a few of them. I love the primary powders. They're translucent and it's one single color. They're not color blends. This one is such a beautiful red, you guys. It's a beautiful deep color, perfect for Christmas. And it was so pretty, I decided that I wanted to make my berries that color. So I'll go ahead and use the Wow embossing pen to fill those in. So like I said, I think I mentioned, this is my second time doing this design. So initially when I did this, I actually made a set of tags. This was one of the tags that I made. And I filled those in with like glossy accents or clear nouveau drops. And I literally smeared it three times. So I kind of just walked away from those tags because I was frustrated and then came back to them the next weekend. And I decided, you know what, I'll just do a card instead of a tag for this one. So this worked out so much better embossing these red berries rather than using the nouveau drops. Like I cannot wait for those to dry, you guys. So usually if I use those, I will actually do a whole sheet of them on a craft mat and just let them dry for 24 hours and glue them on rather than putting them directly on a card because I, I just smear them. So here I wanted to have a border on either side of this. So rather than using a cardstock, I don't have a cardstock that's a red color. That would be really pretty though, I think. What I wanted to add was a little bit more of the gold. So I just positioned my strip and then I ran the embossing pin up the side of it. I'll sprinkle on the gold pearl pattern and then I'll go ahead and heat set that. And I did do this twice. You can kind of see here, it's um, kind of more of a textured finish and I wanted it to be more smooth with better coverage. So I went ahead after this had cooled down, I ran the pin over it again and embossed it a second time. And I did that on the other side of the strip as well. I wanted to pop it up, so I used a piece of sticky back fun foam cut to size. I'll put the sticky back to the front of the card panel, and then I'll put the glue on the back of the sticky back fun foam. And that just eliminates any chance that you might see the glue through the card front panel um, because it's on the back of the foam. So. As I was gluing this down, I had glue on my thumb. You can see it right there. So I just used an adhesive eraser to get that off and it came off perfectly. I have embraced the fact, you guys, that I am just a messy crafter. I try and put things away as I craft, but inevitably I get some kind of smudge somewhere on my projects all the time. I added a few sequins and that card was done. So here are the tags that I originally did. So you can actually see the other tag that I colored there and that time I did it in silver so I left this in here also so that you could see what it looks like in silver I prefer the gold and then I'm taking the embossing pad directly to the paper I'm going to sprinkle on gold pearl on one end and silver embossing powder on the other end and heat set those because the tag die that I'm using has tag toppers and I want to die cut a couple of those out so I have the Altenew Holiday Tag die set and you have options, four different options for the lower edge of your tag topper. So basically you just cut the tag again and I just did a partial die cut because I didn't need the whole tag. And then I trimmed off the bottoms with two different designs here. For this um, ornament here, I just did this one in a couple reds. I think I used R22 and R24 for that um, coral red. I stamped one of the sentiments from the stamp set and then heat set this with primary ebony um, embossing powder. And you can see that gold pearl tag topper, which I think is so cute. After this one is heat set, I'll move on to the final tag. For this one, I did some ink blending with Persian Blue Altenew Crisp Dye Ink. 
and the ink blending tool is also from Altenew. That's their large size. I just have a piece of purple tape stuck to my fingers just so I don't get any of my skin oils on the tag. There's not really anything else to hold on to and I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of straight embossing powder all over the place. Um, because my skin oils are on it. So there you can see I have a silver tag topper. I end up not using that because I feel like it's just a little too busy. So I end up just using this ombre ink blending. I'm just picking up that extra ink from my craft mat and I'm going to make sure that this is good and dry. So I've heat set it on the lower speed with my heat tool and then I'm going to double check it. So I'm going to treat it with the anti-static powder tool. And then I'm going to drop on some white embossing powder, which is what I'm going to use for this design. And you can see that it is not, that ink is still wet. So I'll just use the Nuvar Surface Sweep, knock off that embossing powder, and then I'll dry it again, sprinkle it again. And you can see that it's dry except for that outer edge, which is totally fine because I'm not going to be stamping on that outer edge. So I'll go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I'll also stamp a few of these small snowflakes from the Christmas bobble set and I'll heat emboss these with white opaque embossing powder. So here's the original set of three tags. I'm just adding a little bit more blue ink to the top of that tag since I decided not to use the topper. And here I go. I literally smash it down. <laughs> that was the second time that I did it. And then I did it again after that. So that's why that tag just got trashed. So here are the two tags that did work out, which I think look super cute. I really enjoy that tag die set. And then of course you can see the card here as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed these projects today. I will have a link up in the right hand corner to the first post that I did with the modern colored scheme and the chameleon heat embossing technique that I did. And be sure to enter your projects into the WOW Facebook fan page monthly challenge. This month's challenge is Christmas cards. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you real soon with more inspiration.